April 24th, 2012, ACE's American Crocodile Education Sanctuary rescued a crocodile that was trapped in a pit. Volunteers came and helped as Vince Rose spent about two hours before we could finally get a top jaw on this 12-foot male American crocodile. Due to the amount of algae growing on the crocodile's skin and the amount of weight loss, we estimate the crocodile was trapped in this pit for approximately two to three months. The crocodile death rolled on the way up wrapped himself in a net which was used to protect him and actually twisted Vince's hand and broke his finger as well. This crocodile is now currently in care at a small holding facility north of Ambergris Key where ACES is trying to attempt to build a wildlife refuge for not just crocodiles that are ill and injured but for all wildlife to where they can be held for a certain amount of time until we can safely and quickly get them transported to the appropriate permitted facility determined by the Belize Forest Department on the mainland. Currently, croc-human conflicts are most prevalent on the island of Ambergris Key, and these large threatened apex predators, which are protected by the Belize Wildlife Protection Act, are dwindling in numbers. These magnificent creatures are over 250 million years old and play a vital role in keeping the island's ecosystem in balance. If you would like to find out how you can help ACES or volunteer with ACES, please go to our website at AmericanCrocodileSanctuary.org. We are currently always in need of materials and in-kind donations such as ropes, electric tape, batteries, towels, rags, microchips, culverts, and even PVC pipe. Some of the volunteers here today with us are donors, both monetary and in-kind, which are greatly appreciated. This rescued crocodile is tagged, is being fed supplemental vitamins, and hopefully will be rehabilitated for re-release to be determined by the Belize Forest Department, a certified veterinarian, and ACES. ACES Wildlife Refuge on Ambergris Key is still in need of perimeter fencing, water filtering system, and habitats, including larger habitats, for these 12-foot apex predators in need. So please help threaten species today and save our wildlife for the island. Go to AmericanCrocodileSanctuary.org and donate today. Thank you for your support.